Hey friends, today in this video I will show you a very interesting PowerShell script that will help you to fetch the all users who all are using a very common password like welcome at 123 and this is really a common and weak password for any infrastructure. But you want to just detect all the users from your Active Directory using this PowerShell script so this will really helpful for you guys. So let's see, first I will go on the like uh, the password policy which is currently configured in my lab environment and it's completely like uh, the minimum password length is 7 so if you are entering welcome at 123 so this will allow because this is not uh, uh, this is not breaking the policy and it it's under the the common password policy so this is really weak password that we are just applying in the infrastructure so you want to detect all of the users so what you will do you can use this powershell script and this powershell script will help you to fetch the user list so you required three things one is the the band password list in the txt txt file and this password needs to be converted into into hashes value because uh, in the normal value this will not read so you need to convert the password into hash so first i will show you on my blog website that is infoelias.com where I just configured this text to hash converter tool over here and you need to just convert the password hash value over here like uh, welcome at 123 and then the select the hash algorithm is ntlm because Active Directory uses the ntlm hash algorithm for storing the password so now click on the convert to hash and this has just given the output into hash file hash value simply copy this hash file hash value into the txt file and this txt file will be used in the powershell script and uh, because we have already configured over here so this is the hash value of the welcome at 123 and it's a global wherever that you will convert this will give the same common ntlm hashes for welcome at 123 so suppose you want to check for passwords at 123 so you will just fetch the ntlm hash value for the password at 123 now after just converting into hash value and save it in a location from where you want to read it through the powershell script so because i just saved it into the c and uh, ps folder now i will open the powershell script which i just created for this kind of uh, activity for monitoring the weak password for the ad users now this is the password underscore hash only underscore script click on open and this is the powershell script that you can see first it's just importing the module ds internal basically ds internal tool is a administrative purpose tool for the windows administrator and this will help you a lot and including to fetching the hash value of the uh, the the active directory user password so now here it's just uh, accessing the band password txt value into a variable that is dollar band password file and now it's get it's just searching the domain and the pdc emulator as well into this uh, dollar domain controller variable now it's just uh, use fetching the password hashes from the domain controller uh, for uh, and storing into the dollar password hashes variable now it's loading the band password over here you can see now it's just converting the uh, byte array to hexadecimal string using this function and then it's just checking if byte array is null or empty and then it's just returning the bit converter to string over here and uh, to lower as well functions to check if a password hash is banned so this will just check the test uh, hyphen band password this is a function and then check if the hash is in the list of the band password so this will just compare the hash value from this active directory hash, hash value to your file which you just created over here so this is what currently it's doing over here and then if 
it is true so it's returning the value check each accounts password hash so it's checking the all active directory user accounts and comparing the hash value of their uh, domain control from the domain controller because this variable which we already specified over here if you go through this so it's just fetching the hashes from all domain controller this is what currently it's doing over here and then it's converting the ntlm hash to hex and check for null so it's con using the convert hyphen byte array to hex and then if it is correct so this will give the uh, the result now i'm going to execute this powershell script over here now you can see the one of the user that is test.user3 is using this band password and uh, this is what uh, we can just fetch it through this powershell script if you just want to download the powershell script so just visit my uh, web blog on the www.infoelias.com and you can see this is how to detect band password passwords in active directory using powershell and ds internal so just click on this uh, link and then you can visit for this uh, complete powershell script which i just uh, clearly mentioned the things what exactly it is doing and what all are the prerequisites and what all are the benefits as well and uh, how it works like what all are, all are the security considerations sometimes your infosec or security team ask that like uh, how to check or fetch the list of band password in your infrastructure so this powershell script will help you to fetching the password uh, hash passwords for all users so suppose if you have uh, like three passwords like uh, passwords at one two three or welcome at one two three so in your txt file you need to just uh, assign the the hashes value into every sec every uh, next line uh, suppose above one is the welcome at one two three hash value suppose now you want to give the hash value for the passwords at one two three so you will type the hash value over here so you will go on the converter and then inside the converter you can just convert your uh, value from txt to hash converter and then suppose i want to convert password at 123 into the ntlm i will click on the convert to hash so this is just given a new hash value so you will just copy this hash value and then you will go on the you will go on the like uh, your domain controller and then here in the txt file you will put it suppose i am going to change the password of any user like uh, test user 2 and i am resetting the password password at 123 because i just entered the hash value for password at 123 over here and then i just saved this file as well now i'm going to execute this powershell script again so this will give the two user because the second user is using the band password that is password at 123 and uh, this is what i just entered uh, inside this txt file so similarly if you have three or four passwords so you can put the hashes value of all those passwords in the next to next line and then execute the powershell script this will give you the complete list of the passwords what all are the users using in your active directory infrastructure thank you for watching this video